Hi guys, Charlie Tango One here. Um, I haven't done a video for a long time, so um, I thought I'd have a go at this one. But I should have done this um, whilst I was doing this um, complete refurbishment job. I received a little um, uh, what they call them Optimus um, 8R stove, and um, I've, <laughs> I've actually ordered three of them. <laughs> One's turned up today from Leeds. And uh, apparently said it hadn't had a lot of use, um, uh, but uh, and it was uh, the metal box was brown. Well, I've cleaned that all up because uh, there was a sticker on the front of it, but it's very hard to read. So I ended up cleaning it all up, and I've sprayed it with some uh, silver um, heat-resistant paint. Um, but I thought, well, I started up first to find out. Um, just to see how it goes, if there was any problems, etc. And, uh, excuse me, I've got itchy nose. Turned out there was. So, what was happening is, the, I'll show you the little stove here. I've cleaned it all up now, but um, it wasn't too bad cleanliness wise, but um, there was a few issues. Uh, I'll bring it up a little closer so we can see this. This is, this is the tank, it was nicely. Um, Nice brass tank. Uh, didn't need a lot of polishing, but I did. I put it on the old polishing wheel, and the old heat sink as well. I thought, well, take that off, give that a good old going, and then uh, I've done the bowl as well. Took this bowl off, clean that all up. Took the um, flame, just screwed the flame spreader off. Um, but what I found was when I fired it up. Um, it all started coming out of here and out of here it was just really gushing out so um, I thought oh turn that off before going any further so I took the bowl off um, took the jet out um, because I had to get this off so you've got to take the jet out uh, to get the um, there's also the, the jet needle in there for, to clear in the jet you've got to take that out to get this spindle out so Anyway, I've taken taken that all out, stripped it right down, and um, what I found was there's two little washers in there, dear little things they are, and um, between those two washers is a very, I don't know what it was, but it, it, it breaks all down, and it looks like it was a fibre washer, but it's just completely disintegrated. Um, so anyway, I took that off, and what I've done, as I... Do a bit of leather work. Um, let's put this down for a minute. I thought I'd um, have a go at cutting a couple of washers, of which I have done. So I've cut this dear little washer here. Let's uh, see if you can see it. That dear little washer there. Um, I've done a couple of those. That's just a bit of graphite on there. Um, just the spares. Um, this is the model. This is the model it is. This this is the model, and that's the turning handle for um, uh, opening the valve. Um, key. Well, look at it. it. Gives you an idea of the condition of it. It's not rusty. I haven't cleaned that up. It was not rusty. So, and as the chap said, he did say it hasn't had a lot of use. And when you look at these pot stands, the two pot stands there, they've, I haven't cleaned them. Well, I'll, I'll clean them up, but that's how they were. I'll put a um, very fine wall on there, but it ain't made no difference. That's how clean they were. So they haven't come up any cleaner. So I'm well pleased with that. So, um, there. Right, now where we're, well, I've got to know when my other one comes, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a video of me stripping it down and going over it. Um, then you see, because I've watched a couple of videos, but um, all they do is they just, um, you just see them firing it up, and um, and that's about it. Um, and it, yeah, it burns, it roars like a jet, um, and that's it, end of video. I thought, well, yeah, but... I do know that these little things, they boil up some water, cut and put um, mugs of water in about three minutes. So they're pretty good at that, if you, if you don't mind the, the roar that goes with them. 
quick slurp of my tea. So, what I've done is I've taken it out. As I say, I've I've cleaned up this bowl a little bit. This was a bit bad, this bowl. Um, but I've cleaned that up. Um, managed to get the um, the needle um, jet cleaner in in position. Drop that back down. But what happens in? Uh, I've got to, I've got to show you this. Um, let's take that off first. In in here. Let's get it right. In here, this little bit here. When you take this nut off, this nut. When you take that off, um, and that comes out, there's a load of what you think is crud coming out of there. But it is in fact um, carbon, carbon, and uh, a little trick. I think I see someone else do it in the States, and um, I was quite impressed with it. Um, what you do is you get yourself one of these English terms known as a pencil. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cut off, what well, I did, I cut off just over an inch, that inch quarter, that's what I cut off. And then what I've done was, bear with me, got a little tub, fairy liquid, put a dear little bit in the bottom, there's hardly anything there, look. Hardly anything there. And that's after I've used it. Got a little lid, metal lid. Um, no, you're doing it in the wrong order here. When you open the needle, uh, open the um, when you open the pencil, you just split it open with a knife, Stanley, Stanley knife to do that. Um, fold it in a piece of fold it in a piece of paper, preferably something a little bit bigger than this, because that's say, about two inches by three inches. You want it a bit wider, you know. Um, and when you put it in there, bend it over, put it on your little anvil. And bang it with your hammer. Just keep banging it. Open it up, because if you do it, if you've got the paper too small, it, it starts to come out the end when you're hitting it. So bang it in there, then open it up. See that it's all um, broken up. If not, fold it over again or move it about. Bang it again, so it's basically comes out as dust. So when you've got the uh, when you've got that dust out, you then put a dear little bit of very liquid with it and mix it up a little stick a cocktail stick or something so you get some sort of um, I don't know if you can let's get a, an angle here there we go this this little bit here it's uh that's it get me hand out the light and it goes like a paste have it like a paste um, and you don't want it runny but you want it so it stick to the cocktail stick because when you've got the two little deer washers on the spindle you'll see that it had a load of crud and it just disintegrates when you pull it out between them washers that's where you put that I think they're fibre washers or, or little metal ones you put that leather washer now I put some uh, Vaseline on that soaked that in there and then pushed it pushed it back in the shaft, pushed it back in the shaft um, and then I thought well I'll worry about the jet needle later so then I started putting the graphite, the crushed up pencil with the, with the uh, fairy liquid, I started, I tipped it up this way and I started poking it in there so I poked it all in there, that's once you've screwed this all the way in, screw it all the way in then poke the graphite down in there, then get hold of this nut, which has got a, a flat edge on it, what goes into the thread, and that will push that graphite down. Now when it's pushed that graphite down, you might get a bit squelched back past the thread as you tighten it, but when you tighten it, just be careful. A lot of people tend to just hang on to the tank like this and then crack it like, well, you're going to bend this little shaft. So and you know, or put it out of shape to the tank. So I tend to hold the whole 
shaft here and 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 the, and the f hold hold the th the shaft here and all and all this roughly like that and then tighten tighten this up you know so that you can put it against yourself and just crack it up you don't over tighten it but it wants to be tight um, because I say once it gets hot you've got pressure running out of there that, that will, could spit back which is what happened when I first got it to try it out it it was shooting out here um, yellow flame you know, weren't, no, weren't under pressure, but there's yellow flame coming out there and coming out the side of the metal can. I thought, well, that ain't right, so turn it off straight away before I end up with a fire. So I've done that. Um, so when I got this nut back in there, I thought, right, now let's try it again. So all I done was I put a couple of, um, can you see that? Yeah, I put a couple of, uh, pairs of pliers under here to bring it up so it's level because when it's in the tin it will be level because it sits on the flap but as soon as you take it out it drops it drops down so put that up there a couple of those as I say I used that sits it up straight I thought well it's um Sure bust. <laughs> um, and what a lot of people do, for some reason, the Americans seem to think that when you turn it to the left, which is anti-clockwise, all that does, it works on the same principle as the little spheres one, two, three. You turn it to the left, um, or the one, two, three R, which has got the little jet needle in it to clear the jet, that's all that does when you turn it to the left. But when you turn it to the right, which you should do, clockwise, that actually shuts the fuel off from the jet, which is the correct way to do it. So to shut it off, you turn it to the right. So I've done that. I put some mess in this one. I've, I've used what I used in here is I used some uh, Coleman's. I thought well I use some Coleman's fluid in there. That's what that's what I thought I'd do in that one. So I put some of that in there. But you don't. You only want two thirds. You don't want to go too. You don't want to fill it up. You only want it to be two thirds because if you look at where the tube is that comes from the tank, let's put this up. There we go. That's how it stands. That's where the tube is here. Well, what's the point of filling it? Filling it up. It, the idea is this tube has got to vaporize the the um, the actual. Um, fluid so you've not got petrol or Coleman's fluid going into the jet it's vaporized it's got a in that in that little tube it's got a a, a a wick the same as the one two three sphere so it works exactly on the same principle anyway I put some mess in this bowl and what I've done once it was turned off which is to the right I primed it and a lot of them are impatient you see them they they put it in there or they squirt this open, get some fluid in there, put a match to it and it flames up like crazy. Um, and as soon as they've done that, they've got straight away, they grab, they grab this, the key, and start turning it. Well, they've not given it time to prime. It's got to warm up the shaft to vaporise the fuel. Well, I filled that up twice. The second time I put it in there and let it burn out. Then all I've done was got my lighter, a little cracked it open on this thing, just cracked it open, put the lighter to it, and it was going. Straight away they try to get it on full power. Well, you don't. If it's going, leave it just for a minute or two. It soon heats up round on the tube to vaporise the fuel, and suddenly she's roaring like a good one. You know, um, there is a correct way to actually prime them and light them, and you won't have a problem. Honestly, you won't. So when I do get my next one in, which I'm hoping, I've been told I might get it, it's coming from, uh, I think it's coming from Poland. Um, apparently it's a brand, virtually brand new, well they said it was brand new, unused, because there's a lot of them have been actually stored, but not used. So, um, and I've, set, I've seen a picture of it, and you can see it, it has not been used. So I'm looking forward to receiving that, but I will check it over just to make sure. Um, 
so uh, before I start doing any work on it. So I thought I'd do the same with this. I check it all over, um, fire it up before I have to strip it there and polish it up. Well, once I found all the problems, I rectified them. But once you put that that graphite, I was surprised that how that that worked in there. Once you tighten that up, I don't quite know what it does. It must stop the vapor or, or something from leaking out that way. But as I say, when I cracked that, way she went, and I was I was really impressed. I, I couldn't believe how how easy it, it actually fired up, and I thought, nice one. So um, there we go. That's that one. I might I might just actually see if I can fire it up and see if it does go. And then um, let's put these two under here and see what happens. Yeah, right, just bear with me for a moment. Let's, um, where's my mess gone? Put a bit of mess in there. Make sure that, yeah, the tank's tight. Now, I see one, one, one video from America. And this, this little tank cap, he actually, on the nut on the top of the pressure release valve, he actually got um, some adjust, adjustable spanner and he was cracking out like it was going out of fashion. And um, I was going to ask him how long um, does the fuel in the tank last? Um, but when I see him do that, I thought, well, I don't think he quite knows what he's doing, so I don't think I'll bother. I know I've got a bit of cloth there, but that's not a problem. I can soon exting dis extinguish that if I have to. Let's see what we do here now. That's off, isn't it? There we go. Won't turn the light out because we're losing the light and you might not be able to see on the video. I assume that's still running I hope so um, get, get this here there you go, drink the tea before it goes cold Ugh. Oh, there we go, that's a little bit coming out there You know that that valve is off at the moment. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chance it and turn the lights off just to see if we can see anything here. Let's put that one on. See what that happens. Not making a lot of difference, is it? Right, that's just gone out, so I will now light it for a second time. Oh, you can just about see the flame. I'll turn one of the lights off so that in the hope that we can. Um, I hope this ain't going to prove me a liar now. Right, that's the second time it's been primed. And I'll try to see if I can see the bottom of the fluid before it goes out and try and catch the flame to ignite it uh, but if not then I'll just put the lighter to it and it's going to go now As I've just cracked that it's just a slightly cracked that's all let's turn the light out for a minute you might be able to see then see it's a yellow flame all right okay turn the light back on I only just cracked it open. There, yeah, just cracked it a little bit more. And 
And here you go, nothing's leaking from here now. Nothing at all. So, uh, I might just zoom that in a bit so that you can see what's going on. full bore. Now as you can see, look at that flame spreader. It's glowing red. Oh, I've got a leak. That's alright, just going to crack the nut up on that one. Now I know it is, I'll turn that off. Oh, that was barely on that. Turned it off, and I like to take the pressure out the tank. I don't crack it back up tight, but I don't like to leave. I don't like to leave the pressure in the tank. Some people do, but. That's alright, I can take that nut off, put a bit more of that packing down in there. Where are we? Do it this way. I'll put a bit more packing in, in that little spindle there, take that nut off. Oh, that gets hot, doesn't it? So, as I say, once I've done that, that's all ready to go back in the um, in its container. But, um, as I say, at the moment I've sprayed it with some silver um, heat heat uh, resistant paint and um, we'll see how it goes on this is my next project I've got a lovely stick so I thought I'll, I'll get myself um, where am I a nice uh, stag horn and I'll fix that on my stick and get that going anyway there it is I do wrap it on as I say you know this um, I hope that's been informative to you um, and help someone somewhere along the way um, as to how things go. But as I say, I'm going to um, I'm going to video the next one when I strip it down, just to make sure, you know, because um, sometimes that some people they don't explain very much. They just start taking it to pieces, and if you're not sure if it's a new thing that you want to try, you don't know how to go about it. So if you talk them through it, it does help. Anyway, that's enough of me. I'm rubbing it on again. Thanks very much. I'll catch you again. Bye for now.